Hello YouTube! This is my first video on this account and I am super excited because I've always wanted to do a- uh, I've always wanted to make a booktube channel because I absolutely love reading. It's one of my favorite things to do and I do it a lot. So my first video is going to be a bookcase tour with all of my books. I have a decent collection of them. A little about me. I am from Texas. I am a freshman in high school. I am on the color guard team. My favorite um, types of books to read are classics and young adult, specifically dystopian, my favorite kind of like subgenre. And I collect vinyls and I love listening to music. So that's a lot about me. Other than that, we can get started with this awesome bookcase tour. This is an overview of my bookcase. It's kind of, it's right next to my bathroom. It's like in between these two doors. And it's just a converted dollhouse and it gives me enough space, but we should be redoing it soon. Starting with this shelf. This is just like my leftover books that couldn't fit on other shelves. And these are like stuff that isn't related to reading. But here, starting over here, I have The Nuff, which is a children's book. I have this like how horror movies were made, like tiny book. This is my sketchbook. I don't use this one, but I, this is the one that I have here. This is like an art book with some of my art in it. And then these are Pokemon and Magic the Gathering card holders. And then I have all my yearbooks from elementary and middle school. Kind of starting with the books, I have this Five Nights at Freddy's official coloring book. I have Harry Potter, A Journey Through History of Magic, and then I have the Harry Potter crafting book. Starting with the actual books over here. First on top, I have this little frog that I got from Dollar Tree, and he is really cute. And then the next, the book, the only book that I have stacked here is the movie, like the Tim Burton movie Sleepy Hollow. And it has the actual Sleepy Hollow in there too. And onto the books, I have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And I have the second book to that series, I have Hollow City. And then I have The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I have The Catcher in the Rye. I have Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I have Deep Fake, which is kind of like a young adult book. I have Dear Martin by Nick Stone, and I have They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Moving on down, this is the second left shelf. I have this Laguna Blue figure from Monster High just sitting on my Red Queen series. These stacked books. I have Anne of Green Gables, Emma by Jane Austen, My Brother Sam is Dead by the Collier Brothers, I have Molly Moon's Incredible Book of Hypnotism by Georgia Byng, Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. I really loved this book and I read it while I was on vacation. The Lie Tree, which I got from my school's book fair a while ago. Green Witch, which is like herb spells, all that basic witches that I got from Target. <laughs> this is the only shelf that's fully double stacked, but, and I have dystopian, and then these are all series on this shelf. Over here, I have The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. I have Never Fade, which is the second book to The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. I have The Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer, which is Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. And then I have the Red Queen series, which is the first book, Red Queen, Glass Sword, which is the book I'm currently reading, King's Cage, and finally Warstorm. Behind King's Cage and Warstorm, I have Quidditch to the Ages and Tales of Beetle the Bard, which are back here. And then I have the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook, and then I have the Cursed Child. And then behind the rest of those books are the rest of the Harry Potter series. I just don't display them because they're not that appealing to the eye. Down to the lower left shelf of a CD case. There's a CD case back there and some vinyl shelves that I haven't put back up yet. So this is kind of a double stack shelf. Moving on here, I have The Ghost of Tupelo Landing by Sheila Turnage, Three Times Lucky by Sheila Turnage, and The Hypocrisy of Disco by Clayne Hayward. Moving on to the books. First, I have The Westing Game by Ellen Raskin. I have The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan, which is just chains. And Forge. 
I do not have the third book, though. I have the first three books of Series of Unfortunate Events. There's The Bad Beginning, The Reptile Room, and The Wide Window. I have The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, one of my favorite books. I have A Dog's Purpose by Bruce Cameron. The Only Mortal Instrument series book I own, which is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. And then this is the only Stephen King book I think I own, which is 112263, and I'm really excited to read that one. Moving to the lower right shelf, this one is just series and then some dystopians over there and then some poems. This one is double stacked, as you can see, but these are just like educational books. Like there's Shakespeare sonnets and then some math and then there's one manga back here, which is The Forest of Grey City. I have the School for Good and Evil series. I have The School for Good and Evil, A World Without Princes, and The Last Ever After. And then to my hardbacks, I have Quest for Glory, A Crystal of Time, and One True King. And that's the complete series. These are my poetry books. This is one of my favorites. This is Violet, Be Violet Bent Backwards Over the Grass by Lana Del Rey. I have Light Filters and Poems by Caroline Kaufman. And then I have Thunderhead, which is kind of a funny story that I checked the first out, the first book out in my school library, and then I found the second book at Goodwill, and I decided to get the second one. And I was like, okay, I could just read that one by myself. And then I have Ready Player One right here, and then Ready Player Two. This is the this is the movie cover. It was a very thick book, annoying book to read because it was so it was so thick, but. I probably won't end up reading this one because I believe that it, that Ready Player One had a good ending and I don't, I think this was like a money grab, like this was unnecessary. So yeah. To the middle right shelf, this is shelf with the most books I would think. But up top in my stacks, I have Flowers in the Attic by V.C. Andrews, Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe, Andrews by Margaret Haddix. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, but this is like the illustrated one by Camille Garcia. And then I have the first three books, the Five Nights at Freddy series, The Silver Eyes, The Twisted Ones, and The Fourth Closet. And then over here, this is a weird situation because I have these tiny John Green books and I needed a place for my Hunger Games books to go, so I put them on top and they kind of fit perfectly. So I have the Hunger Games and then Catching Fire, still looking for Mockingjay. And then here are my tiny John Green books. I have Looking for Alaska, An, Ab An Abundance of Catherines, Paper Towns, The Fault in Our Stars. And then here I have An Abundance of Catherines, Full Size, The Fault in Our Stars, Full Size. And then I have Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lord Miracle. And then moving on, we have The Outsiders by Essie Hinton. And then the first two books of the Lunar Chronicles, Cinder and Scarlet. This is my favorite graphic novel. It's called Making Friends. It's a very good graphic novel. Suggest picking it up. Raina Taljemeyer in a way. And then I have the first two volumes of the My Hero Academia manga. Then I have Smile by Raina Taljemeyer. I have Teen Titans Raven, illustrated by Gabrielle, Gabriel Piccola. And then I have The Umbrella Academy by Gerard Way, first Prophet novel, the first Saga novel, and the first Star Wars novel. And then, so I never have to read a Charles Dickens book, I have Great Expectations, a graphic novel, and I have Henry V by William Shakespeare. And these are all just comic books, nothing too special, and then there's some crochet magazines right there. And then the last shelf, which is this shelf right here, my Kira cast books, and then it has two classics. But over here we have Shel Silverstein, where the sidewalk where the sidewalk ends. There's RJ Palacio with Wonder, Rainbow Rowell's Fangirl and Eleanor and Park. I haven't read this one, but I have read this one's pretty good. The Picture of Dorian Gray, love that book. And then I have the Betrothed series by Kira Cass, which is the Betrothed and the Betrayed. Gorgeous covers, by the way. Freaking beautiful. The Betrayed. Very gorgeous. Kira Cass is some of the best covers. And then I have the Selection series, which is the Selection, the Elite, the One, the Air, the Crown. And then I have Kira, Ka Kira Cass's Standalone, The Siren. And then my favorite book of all time, Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. And then I have Dune by Frank Herbert, which I probably will not read. So yeah, that is my entire bookshelf. It's kind of small. I do not have a lot of books, 
but I absolutely love the books that I am able to read and buy with my own money so I can enjoy myself and sometimes I check out from the library which is a good alternative to buying books. But that will be it for today's video. I hoped y'all liked it and I would love to see some suggestions about what videos you would like to see in the future and I will link my Goodreads account in the description hopefully. So yeah, that's it. Have a good day guys!